प्यारे सत्संग जी प्यार से कहिए सतगुरु सतनाम सत साहिब जी सतगुरु सतनाम सत साहिब जी बोल सतगुरु देव महाराज की जय सतगुरु देव महाराज की जय सतगुरु देव महाराज की जय आज के सत्संग के आनंद की जय आज के सत्संग के आनंद की जय सो आई रिक्वेस्ट ऑल द हंसस ऑफ दिस कॉस्मोस परमहंस ऑफ अमर लोक एंड सतपुरुष ऑफ परम परम लोक आई bow my head before your good self for your benediction love and grace it is you who has to give the message to all the hansas of this cosmos so as to get themselves liberated from this mind and maya and to attain permanent salvation so it is 12 1 2021 to give sermons of satpurush regarding true human being this message is of satpurush to awaken the masses so as to understand their true self <coughs> so how we can become true human beings it is my so second topic i have already elaborated a lot on this <coughs> in my previous lecture so in this i i was talking about charity charity can be transformed to a spiritual plane only if it leads to reduction of one's ego and doership if we can let go our ego our doership then and then charity begins because charity doesn't mean your personal satisfactions to elevate your own self to present yourself before the masses that you are something whereas the main objective of charity is to be far off from these activities perform the activities but your personality should not be known to any individual that he is the doer so ego is very difficult to be eliminated because mind is itself ego and so long you get yourself free from the thoughts of mind and maya till then you can't attain this quality of ego and doership bible also puts charity on a high spiritual plane and though i have the gift to prophesy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge and though i have full faith so that i could remove any difficulty that comes in my way but i am not in a position to know the law of charity i can be powerful i can do miracles but if i don't possess the quality of helping the poor and needy without projecting my own self so then i can say that i have no charity i am nothing you have to become nothing when you will become nothing then the process of charity starts if you want to become something and at the same time you call yourself 
philanthropist you call yourself that you are the helper of poor and needy then you are not in the real sense a spiritual person on this planet for spirituality one has to develop this quality but this can't be developed of your own struggle and efforts that i am mentioning time and again that without match box you can't strike the match stick you require annual to beat something with the hammer to smash it on the hammer you require that hammer requires anvil on which you have to beat the iron piece or gold piece or silver piece or anything you like so bible is very clear on this topic that you can move a mountain and have no charity then i am nothing 13 verse 13 chapter second verse of bible says like that later on this word is can we when you are moving ahead in this very field helper and helper and helper from the core of your surti when it becomes part of your life <coughs> then there will be a flickering light of love then you must come to know that some sort of love is there in your surti no your surti is in the awakening state but this can't be done without a live holiday i am mentioning it time and again people couldn't understand kabir sahab and <clears throat> know this ganam gada bhai tamki has come on this planet to carry the whole load of your mind to get it free from your burden from your shoulders when i was a child somebody told us that you are under lakhs and lakhs tons of weight of thoughts carrying along with you and that word just trickle down from my thoughts he was right you are hundreds of kilometers enclosed by these thoughts these ideas these wishes they are with you from time immemorial since when you came for the first time on this planet from abarlo so love is generated <coughs> through charity through happiness the beginning is happiness you get some sort of happiness then it changes into some sort of joy and when that develops love automatically develops and when love develops automatically there is truth that develops and when truth develops that means you get some sort of peace within so love mind gets pacified you can't attain peace first of all this mind should be pacified and he will attain calmness and will stop sending you thoughts after thoughts in every second when he'll be 
in calmness he won't send any thought to you that's why i say you must have a matchbox and that matchbox lies with true and real sons of the time and sun always comes as a single identity they never come in flocks so mind this thing and take it to your surti so the bible elevates to an act of love every religious book even gita ramayana they make you to start from good karma then keep yourself away from karma when you keep yourself away from karma that you are not the performer you are not the doer <coughs> you your ego will go on eliminating with the passage of time so bible favors the gospel that the four books of jesus christ are known as gospels they clearly mention and favor silent giving they say if you want to be a giver try to be very silent be away from this just like saints just like god itself he is giving you thoughts and thoughts but self remains as he is thoughts are coming from cosmic to unit and from unit to your senses and from senses to your body all are fully involved and this flux is flowing just like a river is flowing towards the sea in the same way these thoughts are flowing towards your unit mind and from unit mind to your senses of the body and this process is going on so gospels favor silent giving thereby delinking the act of giving with doership that means there should be no link there the bridge should not be established what you give and who gives give and giver should be separated from each other who gave nobody knows from where it came nobody knows that is what you are giving as satpurush time and again giving me a lot and lot he is giving all these sermons to you through the mouth of this venom through the mouth of this donkey gada bhai so you have to that is what gita also says the same thing bible whatsoever bible says whatsoever quran says whatsoever gita says whatsoever ramayan says basic principle is the same because these books belongs to god itself they have no any link with the supreme surti consciousness of satlav their approach their ideology is purely up to god that is owner of this cosmos the king of this cosmos so in journey what is happening we do less and want to get more we want to it is they want in the same way as just as we sow <coughs> so seeds in the fields and we get more than the dew but don't expect so so far as spiritualism is concerned you will get more no doubt in that but don't wish for that don't expect anything of that very nature keep your surti alive intact 
concentrated and have a focus on the supreme consciousness first people this do say first concentrate on minor things and slowly and steadily concentrate on god i don't say you can't concentrate god directly in any way you have to concentrate on satguru's face that is why we say when you come in the satsang always look into the eyes of satguru put your eyes into the eyes of the satguru because the surti of satguru lies in the eyes and your surti too will come into the eyes get everything from eye to eye face to face and concentrate in the beginning with alive holy name on the face of satguru because he is embodiment of satpurush he is possessing satpurush concentrated surti that is supreme surti of satpurush and his own concentrated surti so when any disciple gets he becomes very rich more richer than satguru and more richer than any person in this universe but he can't be more than satpurush because satpurush is supreme of supreme you can become equal to satguru but not to satpurush because he is also a segment and surti is concentrated when you are also a segment and when your surti will be concentrated and have a contact with satpurush that you have visualized you have seen satpurush then you will be at par with satguru so you have got the coin which has both the head head and tail your own surti and supreme surti so always be vigilant that when you give give and give and when you give your left hand shouldn't come to know what your right hand is doing this is what all the religious books of the universe talk about this is the gospel of <coughs> four books of lord jesus it is the gist of matthew 6 chapter 3 verse most of the people do say the work an unknown good man does is like it when when is the blood of the body is carried to the heart through this vein and in spiritualism also this vein runs in the body of saints so when this vein carries surti that surti supreme surti of satpurush in his veins as a saint carries through out his body body through his breath breath is the channel always flowing from your nostrils downward and upward completes the cycle and breath it out when your surti is concentrated 
the whole unit of your body will get concentrated when this happens then you can call yourself philanthropist charitable personality on the planet then you can say whatever your right hand is doing is unknown to your left hand you are fully in concentration you are not aware of any thing else other than this so that's why i say there should be only one and one action and act before you i won't say one thought people do very renowned personality do say have one thought in your mind but i don't have any link with mind mind is a problem making mind always poses problem so who you can succeed in having one thought he is giving you thoughts after thoughts thoughts of it is you can't make a river you can construct a dam no doubt in it and let the water of the river go into the dam but there must be an outlet for that outlet is needed because you have to supply that water to different areas in different lands of the country of the villages and villages together so i am taking you very slowly to the real clue of spiritualism i don't say that you should have one thought i say take one action at a time one action should be there one objective should be there before you not one thought objective and don't make use of your mind because mind will never give you any sort of help his objective is always to put you between benefit and loss day and night good and bad truth and falsehood so he is always creating a bullet his coin is always having two sides head and tail so in this universe everything has two faces and every individual has two faces not two so many faces from where jealousy comes when there is a competition there is a jealousy and why competition because you want to win what were you want to win first to satisfy your ego ultimately your thought leads to your ego your actions are because of your intention and when there is intention there is ego you want to satisfy your own lust and when there is a lust there is a jealousy somebody has gone far ahead i started the same work as he started but no he is flourishing like anything but i am always to follow the backward i am lagging far behind as compared to him i am undergoing a loss whereas he is gaining he is being profited day in and day out he is leading a luxurious life and i am le- leading a humble life so why you compare yourself with other it was his karmas and you are suffering because of your own karmas 
That is why we say when you get a chance to be on this planet as a human being, then do good, think good, have good, and don't bring any negative quality in you. Be full of all the positive qualities in you. Keep yourself always green. So in spiritualism, your veins must move from body to heart. Because in the heart the blood gets purified. And then again it is served to the body through arteries. So veins and arteries are always functioning well within your body. See how the veins in the grounds do perform the work to make the grass green. Because the roots are interconnected with each other and when the veins are developed inside the earth, they go on watering each and every segment of the grass and make grass to be green. Flush green. Develop this freshness within you through Surati, have each and every segment of yours to bloom, to get nourishment, and the onlooker should be benefited from your greenliness. So always, so take a cue from these words that are coming to you from Satlo. <coughs> Try to change your <coughs> own life, but not through your efforts. Nobody has succeeded <coughs> in this planet through their efforts. Only through blessings of true and real Satlo. You can attain everything <coughs> but by the blessings and grace of Satyaguru. Always <coughs> move in a silent way. The veins of the water moves very silently in the fields to glorify their growth their flushness, their charm, and provide you vegetables, fruit, and everything from the field. You too should do and act in the same way <coughs> as these fruit trees, vegetables perform their activity. They don't demand anything from you. They are there to serve you. You too should become the same. Serve the masses to what extent you can. Within your capacity, you can do and you must do. Don't dissociate yourself to be charitable in any form. What limited you have? Help the poor needy for their welfare. And then you see how much you will get in return. Return is very high, provided you are ready to sacrifice. So your philanthropy 
is there to make you whether you are performing good karma bad karma as a yogi as a saint in what nature you are performing your work on this planet kaun se lot and lot in the field of spiritualism spiritualism means everything should be at par river flows in a uniform way dam is formed in a uniform way sea is established in a uniform way attain uniformity and this uniformity is not there in mind mind can't be uniform though it itself in the cosmos is in uniform it is well within its boundaries but its waves are very strong they are very strong they move in a very swift way they toss your sarthi here and there up and down right and left all the sides always try to help help and help each and every segment of the universe even help the insects help the birds help the animals help the human beings to any extent you can help do come forward and this is a life and this life is very precious on this planet don't consider it an ordinary life so i won't say that you should concentrate directly on god or sat purush that is not possible you have to concentrate on the word that guru or sat guru gives and at the same time in the beginning you have to concentrate a lot on your guru and satguru through your concentration on their face you will get and you will imbibe all their qualities because at that very time your surti is functioning and surti can catch the surti of the other with a no time when you will attain that very stage your surti concentration will match with the surti of satguru satguru will know everything about you and you too will be in a position to know of your demand of your wish of your desire don't demand anything directly from god if you have to demand demand it from satguru then there will be no bondage you will not be made a criminal in that very sense you have not to repay for the demand but if you demand anything from god from any devi devata then it will become your karma it will be noted down in your memory argan memory will write it down in your karma so don't feel jealous that he is rich and he is progressing and i am not he is reaping his own fruit and you have to reap your own so everybody is getting as per the seed in the field 
If it is a field of vegetables, you will grow vegetables. If it is a field to grow paddy, it will develop that. If you want to make it a garden, it will be like that. So it all depends upon what you have sown in the field, you will reap the same. To whom you are going to blame? To whom you are going to anything, good or bad? It is your own act. It is your own doing which provides you good and bad. So you have to move from material to spiritual life. For material, you require very good seeds to be preserved in a right way, to be sown when field is fully prepared for that. And then you sow. Proper arrangement of water, everything has to be seen well before sowing a seed in the field. So in the same way, if you want to attain spiritualism, to have love, to become true human being, then don't demand anything. Go on doing what's good, what's over you, up to what extent you want to do and up to what extent you can do. Perform your work accordingly. So, fortune and misfortune are two sides of a coin. They can't be separated. They are two sides of the same coin, but you will get as per your karma. So I say, get out of these karmas. And to get out of this karma means to move towards true and real Satguru. Let go the words uttered by or given by God itself. Swam, Sat, Jyoti Niranjan, Nirankar, Omkar, Om. So maximum Guru was those who have left and those who are there. They are making the use of Om Tvang Tat Vyahum Jyoti Narinjan Narankar Omkar All these words will lead you towards God mind. You can go to Ancestors law, you can go to seven hen, heavens, you can go to sun, you can go to mahasun, you can go to even Shastra Sar. But after getting the fruit of your karmas, you have to come back on this planet in any form as per your karma. You can be insect, you can be bird, you can be animal. And after so many births, you will attain the birth of a human being. Only 500 years out of 8 out of 64 crore years, you will be provided only 500 years as a human being on this planet. See the tragedy. And still you don't want permanent salvation. Some say concentrate on the word Om and then listen to the sound Om generated by your speaking. Okay. With this, you are not making Surti and Nirti to join. They will remain apart. They won't join with these words. Because this Surti and Nirti has no link with God. 
विद दिस कॉल नरेंजन विद दिस अल्लाह गॉड परमात्मा ईश्वर ही इज ए मास्टर ऑफ दिस वर्ड्स दैट आई हैव अटर्ड बट माय वर्ड कांट बी स्पोकन कांट बी रिटन कांट बी रेड आउट it can't be written and read out can't be spoken and to be listened it is soundless sound word you have to concentrate it and it will jain surti and nirti and you will become hansa you have to become hansa and then and then liberation starts and then and then you can concentrate on one thing on one object not without that that is the tragedy of the time they do make you to act like that i don't say i won't say you can't act as per your own self this action will be performed by the surti of sat purush it's an us segments you are this surti and nirti are the segments of sat purush not of this god and you must have a word from sat purush to have the union of surti and nirti to become hansa then your real worship on this planet starts that is why i say agnishan point is needed that is match box is needed for the match stick without match box you can't rub the match stick it is just like a thing there is a boat there is a river there is a boat there is a boatman there are passengers ready to be carried from one shore to the other but there is no o to make the boat to move that o is missing that's not there with the rudder is missing o is missing with the boatman he is not having o with him though he may be very expert and people are very eager to go to the other side of the river and river is flowing very deep river long river can't be crossed without swimming and they need to go along with luggages along with their things to carry so without rudder without o you can't cross the river so this o is of surti and nirti for their union to join and become hansa that is from one shore to another shore from this cosmos to amarlo i have brought that very o from sat purush himself he has given that very my word can't be written i can't speak out that very word neither kabir sahab spoke out this word nor i can these words is surti itself and they are given through surti in the ear of sadhu so please be vigilant so fortunes and misfortunes are two sides of a coin if you pick up one other follows you can't say please head you should remain with me and tell you should go you may pick up head or may pick up tail other will be with you so if you have started something with good intention bad is always with it good and bad are both included sometimes you will be benefited sometimes you have to suffer 
Sometimes in that very work you are getting benefit, but domestically you are in some problem. So you can't be happy all the times. Happiness and joy, truth, they come when you will come out of these things. No gain and no loss. No day and no night. No jealousy, no prejudice. Always be in the present and present is attained when you have this alive body. Put this in in Surti because your Surti and Nirti, they understand the mystic has come. Let us rub ourselves on this matchbox and become Hansa. So you are not segment of mind. You are segment of Surti. So without Surti, you can't be liberated. Mind is putting you in these three lobes and Surti is not of these three lobes. It has come from Amar Lok. It wants to go back to its real home, its real birthplace. It wants to have its own father. So your soul is neither male nor female. You can take it in any form you like. But this mind is a segment of five elements and he has made your body of five elements. The word Om can be seen through your inner eye. You can see it golden yellow in color and when you will concentrate on it, you will have a sound of anhar, nad. You can listen to that also. When you attain this stage of coming into Agya Chakra. But when you will attain Surti, you can go far behind this. You will cross the boundaries, so Om has a limit up to Sun. And this word that I gives you, it crosses the boundary of Ma Sun and reaches to Amar Lok. You are real about your real home, Amar Lok, Begumpur, Satkhand, is Amar Lok itself and Satpurush himself. He is himself Amar Lok, just like this God is himself these three Loks. He is himself God. He himself is the creator of these three Loks. Because he has been given this power by Satpurish himself to create these three Loks. And be a king of these three Loks. So it is he who has created all these galaxies, these suns, planets, so and so forth. But you have to awaken yourself. Don't pick up the coin. Because it don't have one piece. If you pick up, you have to pick up both. And be satisfied with the both. If the days are bad, face them boldly. If the days are good, don't move towards your ego, doership, remain in calm and composed way because bad days are not far off.
दे आर नॉकिंग एट योर डोर ऑल द टाइम यू मे बी एज रिच एज यू लाइफ बट वेन द पॉवर्टी कम्स इट डज कम आई हैव सीन ऑल दिस थिंग्स इन माई लाइफ सो प्लीज रियलाइजेशन एंड लिविंग इन द प्रेजेंट मोमेंट इज द रियल लाइफ एंड दिस इज पॉसिबल वेन यू हैव सोन लेस सोन वर्ड बींग ब्लेसिड टू यू बाई ट्रू एंड रियल सत गुरु विदाउट द नॉलेज ऑफ दिस अलाइव होली नेम दैट इज बींग ब्लेस टू मी बाय सत पुरुष हिमसेल्फ आफ्टर कबीर साहब so please try to move towards real spiritualism towards the real path of life so true spiritualism is unknown field outside memory segment it is not a segment of the memory it is a segment of shruti not a segment of memory memory is related up to mind intellect is related up to mind whereas surti itself is powerful powerful enough to perform all the activity itself so when we are in the planet to materialize specific cause we move in that very direction to achieve that possess that we think about that we wish for that we that desire for that and we want to attain that so all of us thinking and thinking so oh you can have one thought at a time if you are moving in the world you have thoughts and thoughts because when there is a thing to be materialized specific cause is there conditions are there situations are there we have to move out here and there for that we have to meet so many persons for that so a lot and lot work is needed to establish any work or any profession in your life even a child who moves towards studies and want to become a doctor he has to struggle a lot an engineer has to struggle a lot a person who has to become a businessman he has to struggle a lot so who he can have one thought at a time there are so many thoughts and thoughts because you are in the grip of mind and my but the moment you move towards true and real spiritualism then you don't think of anything you move on without thinking without expecting without wishing simply to be in the present and perform the work never think of what so happen never move what will happen do what is there before you to perform that is the main job this moment is very important for a student this moment is very important for a businessman this moment is very important for a clerk for an officer for any this moment see this moment that is the main objective of a person a person and this is possible only when you will be having matchbox 
and all the words of this universe fail to act as a matchbox. I said maximum Gurwas has given, are giving and will give this word out. Or swam, twam tatva swam, swam, swam ko ratte ja, twam tatva ko ratte ja, vayahun ko ratte ja, sat sat ko kehte ja, alak narinjan, alak narinjan bolte ja, kaal ka daira chute ga. So you have to get yourself free from these words and have soundless sound word which is a segment of Satkrush itself. Being interested, we start the true and real Satguru of the time and he blesses you with the same word, with the same sound and have everything of the universe and of, of the Amarlo. So both the loks will be of yours. In Hindi we say, Lok Sukhi Par Lok Suhela. So this life will be peaceful and happy. And that life too will be peaceful and happy. Here you will live as a guest and there will you go to your own real home, to your own real father. So you have to find one, try to find one who can make you free of all these baser elements. This world is full of baser elements. They are not going to provide you any dividend which is related to true spiritualism. They are taking you towards enticement of worldly players. Worldly wishes and desires are there in this universe and you are running after that. They are not going to provide you any, any dividend for your spiritual attainment. So you can't attain anything. So try to find one who can make you free of all these baser elements. Become empty in and out in circular order. You have to become empty of thoughts, wishes, desires, everything, nothing. Even if you have nothing to it, don't worry. He will provide it. He will himself come to your rescue. There should be thrust. There should be hunger for that. And you will get. He won't keep you empty stomach. He won't keep you without water. He will provide you. Because at that very moment, this God will be yours and Satpurish will be yours. Both will be yours. They have no enmity with you. But everyone is performing his duty. He too wants to make you wake up, move towards your, towards your real home. But directly he don't say. Lord, Lord Krishna has, hid, has mentioned everything in the hidden form. In the 8th chapter, he has made very clear. Get enlightened and get yourself mingled with the Supreme Consciousness. He said. And that's, that lok is there. Where no death, no birth takes place. Where Anything, anybody, any person, any segment is pure truth, love, joy and peace. So this mind also wants one thing from you, provide me peace. Then I won't give you any thought, wish and desire. Provide him this alive holy name, he will attain peace. His diet is too. Alive holy name. He will become friend of yours. He will act as per your directions. 
as you are at present performing all the acts as per the act of mind, the process will turn over. 